For consistent results in your automated visual tests, you're going to want to make sure that the size of your browser is the same every time you run your test. That way you get a consistent rendering layout. This is especially true with responsive web apps and for a lot of apps in general that may not be responsive as well. There's two approaches to handling that. Um, within Selenium, there's the ability to set the window size so that it resizes the window. That would be the entirety of the browser window, as you'd see here. Alternatively, within Apple Tools Eyes is the ability to resize the window based on the viewport. And by the viewport, I mean the actual content frame, this here. And this is actually a superior method over using what's built into Selenium because it accounts for uh, things like uh, toolbars that are added within the browser that can resize the content frame. And this would actually still give you a consistent accurate size every time even if there's this, if additional third party plugins and toolbars were installed in the browser. Additionally, if a viewport size is set that is not supported, um, Apple Tools Eyes will actually abort the test and not actually run it. Um, and return an exception stating that, whereas with Selenium, it would just try to run it. And under the hood, Apple Tools Eyes uh, window sizing is, is fundamentally using the Selenium uh, window resizer. It's just adding these additional benefits as well and doing some calculations to make sure you have an accurate window size each time. And it's worth noting that you are limited on how big you can resize the window of the browser to the actual screen resolution size of the machine that you're running your test on. And if we hop over to our test code, I can show you how to set this up real quick. Here's a simple test that is set up to use Selenium and Apple Tools Eyes. Let's not get into the specifics about what the test actually does, but let's talk about the setup of the test. Here we are creating a Firefox driver, creating an instance of Apple Tools Eyes, setting the API key, and taking care of some other bits like setting the match level, for example. Here is where we are creating our instance of Apple Tools Eyes. We're passing in the Selenium session the name of the application and the test name. An additional argument that we can pass as well is the viewport size that we want. And to do that, we need to pass uh, a new rectangle size. And what it's expecting are two values, uh, two different arguments, an integer for width and an integer for height. And to get these values, these are the values for the viewport size. And again, I as I mentioned, that's the actual content frame, not the size of the entire browser window. And so to get at this, we can add, there's two different ways. The, the quick and dirty way is to go through the JavaScript console. So if we go to more tools within the browser and go to JavaScript console, we can actually type instant commands and ask for what is the window width. And in JavaScript console, it's window.innerWidth, and it will return the value. And if we were to actually maximize this window as well, on this specific resolution, we would get 1362 as the value. And to get the height, it's inner height. The other option is to look at a website that has the value for you, like this one here, viewportsizes.com slash mine. will actually list the viewport size of the screen, and it will change as you resize the window. And so we can take these two values, 1362 and 633, to compose the uh, rectangle size to set the, si the viewport size in our Apple Tools I session. So we would specify that here. So 1362 and 633. So now if we save our test and run it, And if we hop over to the app tool size dashboard, we can see that this test ran and the viewport size was set. Whereas in this previous run that was done earlier where nothing was specified, the screen size was set to whatever, uh, whatever the whimsy of the browser opening by default was. Now intuitively, as I manually maximize the window and grab the inner width and inner height, you may think that you could just set a maximize command for Selenium so that it resizes the window to the full uh, available uh, real estate within the resolution of the machine. Um, but this is actually a bad idea because it opens you up to inconsistent test results just like not setting a viewport size would do for you because you're at the whimsy of whatever the screen resolution of the machine your test are running on is set to. Um, so running your test over and over again on this one machine will get you consistent results but as soon as you run them on uh, say a node in a Selenium grid or a node on Sauce Labs 
you would run into potentially inconsistent results if the resolutions were different than what you're expecting.